Hi, I'm Dan Foley with Foley Mechanical. I'm a mechanical contractor based out of Lorton, Virginia. We're here in beautiful Leesburg, Virginia to look at the Circa 1899 home. What's unique about it is built by a DC architect in the Queen Anne slash Colonial Revival dial for a local lawyer. It's got an old gravity hot water heating system. We've done work in this home since 1992. Most recently, we did a boiler conversion. We put in two Burnham Alta boilers by US Boiler in one Burnham indirect domestic hot water tank. Let me show you more. Let's go inside and have a look. We're in this 1899 home in Leesburg, Virginia. This house is heated by these large column style cast iron radiators. These are the original radiators to the house. There are roughly 30 of them, including in the bathrooms. Now this house was originally a gravity hot water system, meaning it did not rely on circulator pumps for the flow of water through the heating system. It relied on the natural convection of the hot water rising through the pipes and radiators, displacing the cooler waters, setting up a natural convective flow through the system. This is a perfect match for the Burnham Alta boilers we installed here. These are condensing boilers that run great at low water temperatures. Now these radiators don't need to run at 180 or 190 degrees to heat the house. We can run 140 or 150 degree water and still heat the house on the coldest day of the year, making it a perfect match for the Burnham Altus that we installed here. We're in the Leesburg house boiler room. To my right over here is the original coal boiler that was in service for over 50 years. This was an original gravity operated coal fired boiler. Now, the previous owner converted over to fuel oil. I got involved with the project in 1992 when I put in a new cast iron oil fired boiler. That served the house for 15 years. Then in 2007, we put in one of the original condensing gas boilers that we replaced two weeks ago. We came back with two Burnham Alta boilers by US Boiler. And we really like the features of the Alta boiler. It was a good fit for this project. For one, it's easy to vent. The gray pipes are Schedule 80 CPVC. Those vent right through the sidewall. The white pipes are PVC for the fresh air, combustion air intakes. In addition, these boilers have 10 to 1 turndown ratio. What that means is it can operate from 10% to 100% firing rate, depending on the demand. Now with two boilers, that gives us a 20 to 1 turndown ratio. And what that means is that it won't short cycle during light loads. It'll just ramp down, go to one boiler, and then ramp down to 10% to match the demand. That prevents short cycling, inefficiency, wear and tear on the boiler. In the past, when we had two boilers, we needed an external control. Now with the Alta, that staging control is built into the brains of this boiler and it decides whether one boiler or two boiler are sufficient to operate. Some other features we like are the LP conversion. Now these are natural gas, so we didn't need to convert them, but if these were LP, it would take 30 seconds per boiler to convert them over to LP. Very easy to do. We also like the adaptive combustion. You no longer need to set up these boilers with a combustion analyzer. It's all built into that with the adaptive combustion control. The rate-based temperature reset control is also built into these boilers. You no longer need to run a wire to the outside and put sensors. It's all built into the algorithm of the brains of this, this boiler, measures the supply and return temperatures and decides what the demand is based on that delta T and other input parameters to constantly adjust the output of this boiler to maximize efficiency and comfort. In addition to providing space heat through the radiators, these two boilers also provide domestic hot water through this domestic hot water storage tank. You see two pumps over here. These two pumps are on the system side of the low loss header or hydraulic separator. Each pump is sized just for the load it serves. The pump on the left serves the radiators. The pump on the right serves the domestic hot water tank. The low loss header acts as a hydraulic clutch between the system side and the boiler side and each boiler has its own circulator pump sized for the pressure drop through each boiler by itself. Two separate pumps. One feature this boiler has that we really like is the USB connect tool. This device uses Bluetooth technology and it plugs right into this RJ45 port on the front of the boiler. Got a magnet. Then you use your smartphone and it uses Bluetooth technology to communicate. So you don't need a cell signal, you don't need Wi-Fi. It can communicate with the boiler. And with this device, you can set up the initial parameters when you program the boiler. You no longer have to go into the boiler and press the buttons to set up the parameters. You can do it on your smartphone. 
when you come here to service it. You can read fault codes and you can read service histories. This device makes it a lot easier to install and service these boilers. It's called the USB Connect Tool. The app is free to download. You can use it on your smartphone. For more information on these boilers, you can always go to www.usboiler.net.